Hi, in this video I am going to explain how to use the Pedro database. Based in Australia, Pedro is a free database of over 50,000 trials, reviews, and guidelines evaluating physiotherapy interventions. It was created by the Pedro Partnership, whose stated mission is to maximize the effectiveness of physiotherapy services by facilitating the clinical application of the best available evidence. The database is generally updated once a month and will be especially useful for the students in the Physical Therapy Assistant Program at Harkham. To get to it, we're going to go from harkham.edu to Academics and in the drop down menu, click on Library Services. You're now on the library homepage, so you can either click on Databases up here or scroll down to the quick links and in the databases here. So we're on the database homepage. So I'm going to show a couple of uh, icons of specific importance. There's a, a legend here, but I'm going to show two. The first one is the Harkham Bear. It is um, for subscription databases that require a username and password login to access it from off campus. You can get that from your Harkham Hatch, the silver tab on the far right hand corner open that, scroll down to library database password list, and you can click on it. So the second icon is a blue circle with a magnifying glass, and that is for open access database, and it is available freely online to anyone, not just the Harkham community. So you can scroll down to the alphabet bar here, and we're going to click on P for Pedro. We're scrolling down, you see Pedro right here. Clicking on that. So on the main screen, you can search, browse right here. You can learn resources and you can, we're going to go through the different pieces of the pie here. But like most databases, Pedro, I'm going to click on search here, will give you the option of an advanced search, which is the defaulted page right here, or a simple search. So we're going to do a simple search first. We're going to go through the different aspects here. So I'm going to do the example of stroke rehabilitation. And as you may notice, I have quotation marks around the stroke rehabilitation because it is two different words, but one topic. And when we want to keep the topic together. So that way we can get a very relevant search. If you do not put quotes around, it will search each word separately and the list will be longer and not as relevant. So I'm going to click on search here. You get 499 results. You'll see two different kinds of records. First, a practice guideline and also down here below, a systematic review. For some items, for some of the, the articles here, you will see the full text is available and for others it is not. The practice guidelines often direct you to a publisher's website to click on full text. Let's try one. Let's go down here to say management of patients with stroke. And that's the practice guideline. And if you scroll down, it'll say full text may be available from the publisher. We're going to click on this. So as you can see, it is 108 pages. You can download it or you can print it if you want to. And it is coming from the UK or Scotland. So um, this item, materials in, in this particular database, there are materials that come from all over the world. So let's go back to the search page and choose one of the systematic reviews. I'm going to go back here. I'm closing this out and hitting the arrow button. Let's go to the first one. So physical fitness training for stroke patients, a systematic review. So systematic reviews compare the results of studies side by side, providing a view of all the evidence about an intervention. So they, they attempt to identify, appraise, and synthesize all the empirical evidence that meets pre-specified eligibility criteria to answer a specific research question. So um, this is uh, basically 
a summary and then it will give you some options here it says full text sometimes free we're going to click on PubMed Central just to let you know we do have a video tutorial on PubMed because that is one of the other databases that's listed on our database page so I'm going to click on this and you will see a um, an abstract it's a summary of the entire article and we're going to click on it gives you an option up here for a PDF so I'm going to click on that and it is 312 pages so you can scroll through this find what you need or you can print out a certain amount of pages you can download it so different options available here for you and um, oh uh, I clicked on it a little too quickly here I'm going back to the um, article and up here you have a citation button so you have the different citations here that you can copy and paste and put in your paper I just want to point out that when you copy and paste a citation from a database I would always recommend that you double check it against our site sources page we have it on the library homepage site sources link and then we have the different citation formats here and you can confirm it against what we have okay so we're going to click close this out and go back here now um, I just want to point out uh, I'm just going to give you another example here so let's see impact of tele rehab we have oh rehabilitation for stroke related deficit now um, again this could take you to full text or not but theoretically if this is not full text you can go further and you can find out if it's not full text you can request it via interlibrary loan we have it on our library homepage we go back to the library homepage go to request forms in a library loan here and you put in your name your Harkham email and any of the information we need which is your article title journal title authors so you can get that information even right here I of course would highly recommend you to go further see if we have the article and if we don't then um, request it from us because when you go further and it said you have you don't have access to access to it or you have to pay for it don't pay for it we'll get it for you for free from another library so this is the uh, journal article title this is the journal title right here telemedicine journal and e-health this is the publication date March 2021 volume issue page numbers so this is where you fill in right here so just for further information and of course you, if you have any questions please feel free to contact us regarding that okay I am going to go back here so let's go back to the original search page I'm clicking on home here and it is going to oops it is going to show us the advanced search so you have um different um keywords here you can search it helps you limit your search a little bit more by limiting the keyword to certain fields so for example in therapy you can limit it to fitness training the problem is frailty body part is say lower leg or knee and you can limit your search to the last five years since it's in the medical topic and then we can start the search you will see that your results deal with this more narrowly focused topic in this set you will also find clinical trials you can find full text for those in the same way that you do for systematic reviews there is another search option in Pedro called the consumer search so we're going to go back to um, the main page here and you can see consumer search right here and you can break it down here and play with it here we're not going to go through this in depth because I have other features that I want to show you so we're going to go to the home page here 
and then we are going to go to say the browse button the browse button will provide you with a list of broad topics that you can click on to find the latest material available related to that field, say sports. So you have all these articles. Some of these are full text and some are not. So um, then under learn, I'm going to go back to the home page here. And then under learn, you will find some tutorials that will help you answer a question. You will also find frequently asked questions and top 20 trials under the, um, I'm going back to the page again, under the resources, you can find a confidence interval calculator, which is a spreadsheet, Excel spreadsheet, but you can input certain numbers and it will calculate it for you. You also have links to other resources, say PubMed, but we already have PubMed listed, but other databases as well, and other links. And the British Journal of Sports Medicine Publications. So these articles in here are not full text, but again, you can request it via interlibrary loan. So, and um, that's pretty much it. So you can see it resources here, learn, so anyway, you have all of these different resources. And if you have any questions about this database or any other, please don't hesitate to contact us in the library. You may email us at library at harkham.edu. Use our chat services during the hours posted on the library's homepage. Or call us at 610-526-6085. Leave a message and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Thank you.